Not looking so bad. Dear God, my eyes. Bagley! Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. I've lost sight of the target. Over. I'm Tash, and this time we're giving a special shout out from us to the boys and girls at the Signal and Intelligence Response Service, better known as SIRS. Why not? They're going to be listening. Every Received. Returning every to HQ. Over. Everything. But don't worry, we're not going to say anything bad about a massive, unaccountable spy organization that uses its powers to stifle the Senate and shut down free speech. Instead, we're going to look at how SIRS became so powerful. And as usual, we'll keep everyone's names and locations secret, so Sirs doesn't come looking for them. Ian was a veteran political writer and podcaster back in the days of pre-crisis Britain. It's the world we're living in now, fascist. Well, this is what fascism is. It is the complete and total control of the individual. The desire to basically say to the individual, nothing in your life matters. On an individual basis, you are now part of the whole part of the nation. And the only means you can find in your life is to become part of the nation. What is a nation? The nation doesn't mean anything, right? The nation is basically just encapsulated by the leader that takes over, that claims that he, you know, has this sort of access to the soul of the country, to the soul of the people. He never does, it's just a myth. But that's what they go for. And on that basis, they take the right to control every aspect of your life, from who you talk to, to where you eat, to where you go to hang out with your friends. Test where you get corporations and the state operating in tandem, basically molded into them. But that isn't that rare. I mean, it's exactly the same thing in Nazi Germany. You look at the concentration camps that operated in Nazi Germany. There were private companies in those camps making use of that slave labor. Fascism often works with corporations, and it's doing the same now. That's the way in which they track what you do. That's the way in which they track who you talk to. They operate as you can What a nightmare! Oh, shit! Deep breath. And what we haven't looked at is the power structures and the profit that lies behind them. For example, selling passports and making it easy to uh, provide visas for investment and so on. And historically, throughout the world, they've been working with this big data manipulation company in order to overthrow governments, and then suddenly all the chickens came home. Nobody could find any receipts for what was paid for, nobody could figure out how things were done, but everybody had a feeling that something really stunk, and they couldn't figure it out. And yet, it was standing there, in their face, the whole time. There's a couple of different ways that we got where it is that we are. One, you have a lot of uh, smaller organizations, smaller power groups, uh, as well. Um, who are bending things just a little over compromise a little bit, we'll bend the rules a little bit, um, and try to achieve what it is that we hope to achieve that's good for us. And, and if you add all of that Getting up... Getting close! All right, you're here. Let's find the thing.
authoritarianism contained within its DNA. Um, it is by its nature a tool for authoritarianism, uh, and it has been used in that way. Got a pint for whoever finds him! Drone, enter search protocol. James covered it. We're starting to see the merger of private data and that with data held by the state into what are called social credit systems. This is where every aspect of your behaviour is monitored and totted up by a central system to sort of score you as a person, a bit like a credit card, but predicated on all of your behaviour rather than just uh, the money you're spending. And this can have profound impact. We're starting to see systems emerge which will punish you and stop you from doing things in society based on your behaviour. Gonna enjoy this. this is it. Oh, scared. Oh, and that's a solid blow there. An unbelievable blow. Don't want to know anyone will come back from that. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Solid strike with a solid fight. Ways to be a vet. Most exciting thing you'll see all day. Did you all see that monster on the stream? Fuck it Society's crumbling, this will be a lot. Fumbling. Come and see a couple of fighters take it out on each other. You must not be teeth right out. A solid hit! That's the shit we like to see them all right, people all want. Just like a proper live highlight reel. Show me what you've got. Fucking hell. Seriously. No one will be able to get out of that. She can't be contained. She's uncontrollable and unbeatable. Come on, folks. Make some noise because where there's smoke, there's fire.